All right, so um, we're from the International Tourism Studies in Zwolle, and I'm here with my class of 21, so they're first year students, and they're going to present uh, you guys something about Zwolle and the Netherlands as a touristic destination. Uh, so we will switch groups. The first group is um, can come forward and tell you something about uh, Zwolle. Sorry about that. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, it works. <laughs> Um, hello everyone, we're going to tell you about uh, food, drinks and going out in Zwolle. The introduction, uh, Zwolle is a uh, city found in 1040, the year 1040. Uh, it's a small city and there are a lot of restaurants and cafes there, which we're going to tell you about. Uh, first, we start with the uh, Vollebroek ship. It's a, sh a ship that serves pancakes, and um, the ship's located in the uh, uh, center of the city. And um, it throws children parties, so um, children uh, can uh, bake the pancakes themselves. And um, they also deliver at home if you want. Nuskura! Uh, Blue Sakura is a sushi restaurant in uh, Zwolle. It's located in an uh, old uh, church uh, in the city center of uh, Zwolle. The church was founded in 1309 AD, so it's a really old church. Um, it's obviously Japanese food. Uh, I've been there my myself a few times when I go sushi uh, eating in uh, Zwolle. I always go to Blue Sakura, so I definitely recommend Blue Sakura. Um, there's also a wine bar, it's called Oak. Uh, you can drink wine and eat uh, food. There's also, uh, it's also a great place for uh, gifts for Christmas or friends. You can uh, personalize your own bottle of wine. Um, so that's really fun. You can make a whole day out of it, make a wine bottle and drink wine, eat food. So it's a really fun day. Uh, Brownies, Downies, it's a restaurant for people uh, who dance there and they work there. Um, it's for them a learning place to learn how to be social and just have a work experience. You can do really nice hot cheese over there and sit on the terrace in the summer. Then we've got the Cats Cafe Scratchers. Um, it's a cafe uh, with all kinds of cats. They have their own name with their own um, personality. Um, you are not allowed to wake because you don't know what their reaction is, and you can have a drink and you can lunch. Okay. Uh, Dogtails. Dogtails uh, is a cafe. It's a combination of cocktails and hot dogs. So obviously you can drink some nice cocktails over there and eat some nice hot dogs like you can see on the picture. Uh, it has nice glasses like uh, Toucan Shade or whatever you can think of. Um, you can also collect points. You get a car every time uh, you get a drink, you get a stamp on the car. Uh, and when your card is full, you get a free drink. So that's very nice. And uh, last but not least, we have De Libraia. It's uh, one of the two, three Michelin star restaurants in uh, the Netherlands. So it's very famous. Um, you have to make a year or half a year uh, of reservation in, reservations in advance. Um, it also has a hotel with, hotel with it, so as you have a, um, as you go to eat there, you can stay. Uh, it has really exclusive meals, like the small ones. Uh, you like it or not, but obviously many people like it. <laughs> um, you also have a shop with it. It's uh, located next to the restaurant. Uh, you can get um, drinks, uh, little goodies, um, 
I bought a red wine bottle myself, the Kiss of Therese. It's very good, definitely recommend. And uh, on to the next. Well, uh, hello. We're going to talk about uh, some fun things to do in Zwolle. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Museum de Fundatie, Dinoland, Ultimate Plus, uh, Herman Burg Museum and Experience, and talk about uh, how you can go around the canal in Zwolle. Uh, we start with uh, Museum de Fundatie. Uh, it's uh, a special museum because there's a lot of uh, modern art. Uh, you also have a little bit of uh, art from the Middle Ages, but uh, it's mostly known uh, for the modern art. Um, the highest amount of visitors is 310,000 uh, visitors. Um, the square in front of the museum is uh, great to take uh, pictures from. It's called Blymark. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Then we're moving on to Dinoland. Dinoland is a theme park in Zwolle. Um, it's a 15 minute walk from the central station. So it's quite close to the city center as well as the Zwolle uh, central station. You can go there by bus and it costs around 14, 25 euros per person. Now, Dinoland, it might sound quite, uh, quite childish, however, it's really informative. So if you want to have a great day and learn so much about dinosaurs, you should really go here because there are 200 recreated dinosaurs. And obviously they're not real, but you get the point. So the activities, you also have tons of activities, which includes bungee jumping, as well as uh, playing cards. You know, it's like Mario Kart. But then uh, the real life version. And um, yeah, then we move on to food because there's also a dino restaurant, which includes uh, vegan food as well. So you can purchase any available food right there. Also some Dutch traditional uh, foods. So you can try it out right there. Next we're going to talk about the Lutheran Plus. Uh, it's like a big lake in the like a bit right as well. Uh, I, go, I go there in the summer. A lot of people go there in the summer. It's just a nice place. You can have a swim or like I play football with my friends there in the summer, just relax and uh, have a tan. And we're going to talk about the Herman Brode Museum and Experience. Herman Brode was a musician, a painter, an actor, and a poet. Uh, he was known as the first Dutch rock and roll star. Uh, and of course he made art. Here's the museum and this is some of his art pieces. Uh, so you can just go inside and you can look at some of this uh, art. Here we have the kennels uh, around Zwolle. Uh, it has a really nice view of the city itself. Uh, you can rent a canoe, you can rent a boat, or you can surf around the kennel. Uh, it's not that expensive, so it's, uh, if, it's, if the weather is nice, it's a really nice activity. And that was it for us. On to the next one. So we're going to talk about city trips in the Netherlands. And we're going to start with Amsterdam. It's the capital city of the Netherlands. At first, we have the Rijksmuseum. Uh, every year, they are visiting many tourists, and the museum is in this building since 1885. And it has a lot of paintings from uh, people from the 17th century, as Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Van Gogh. Uh, you can also see the most famous painting from Rembrandt, the Nachtwacht. Uh, the Instagram Museum uh, Wonder Experience um, is owned by a well-known Dutch influencer called Anne Lucien. Um, you can type, take nice pictures there uh, with weird backgrounds. Um, 
For example, a jungle, you can swim in a pink marshmallow pool and you can dance in the glitter heaven. Uh, Dam Square, uh, you have the palace at Dam Square. Uh, it is open for exhibitions. And you also have uh, the National Monument and it's in memorial of all the people who fell in the Second World War. Uh, Vondel Park, uh, it's named after Joost van Vondel. Uh, he was the biggest Dutch poet in the 17th century and it's parked in the center of Amsterdam. Then the Bijenkorp. Uh, the Bijenkorp is a very big department store uh, at the dam. Uh, you can buy uh, designer clothes, bags, and furniture, so it's very expensive. Um, then we're going to talk about Scheveningen and the Hague. First, um, the Ferris wheel in Scheveningen uh, is built, it's built in eight meters above the North Sea and uh, it's 50 meters high. The Ferris wheel has 36 closed cabins, so it doesn't matter whether it is, you can always go in. Uh, you have a really good view over the North Sea and uh, the beach, also over the city of the lake. Uh, you can also uh, do a high tea in one of the cabins, and the ticket costs uh, nine euros. Um, then, Pavilion um, Hotel in the Hague. Uh, it's a very uh, expensive hotel, it has four stars, and the rooms are very luxurious. And, uh, this was what it looks like on the inside, so it looks very expensive. Um, then the Department of Building in the uh, Hague. Um, here uh, you can find uh, the upper chamber, second room, uh, the conference hall, and the workspace of Minister President Mark Rutte. Uh, so it's a very important building for uh, the Dutch politics. Uh, the building is also very old. It's, it was built around 1230. And um, the building still gets used. So it's one of the oldest buildings that still gets used uh, as a government building. Uh, you can also do a, a guided tour around the building. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something about Notre Dame. Um, first, we start off with the Erasmus Brug or the Erasmus Bridge. This bridge is the most famous bridge of uh, the Netherlands and it's uh, known by the modern look of it. Um, the bridge was named after Erasmus. He was a priest and a writer. He was very famous. And yeah. Then we have the Euromast. You can go up there and have a very nice view of Notre Dame. And when you're up there, you can also have a drink or eat some food and enjoy the nice view. And when you're a bit more adventurous, you can also go um, up signing from the Euromast and enjoy the view. Yeah. So then we have the market hall. The market hall is uh, very known in Rotterdam. You can go in there and you have all the foods you can imagine from cheese to fruit and vegetables. Um, when the market hall was built, um, they found a lot of objects from the Middle Ages. So when you're in there, you can go to an exhibition of the uh, objects from the Middle Ages. And then um, the center of Notre Dame is um, very new. It's way newer than Amsterdam. And the reason why it's newer is because um, during the Second World War, um, there was a bomb bombing in Notre Dame. So they had to build everything again. And then last but not least, we have the harbor of Notre Dame. It's the biggest harbor of Europe. And a lot of ships with containers uh, get there and being transported to the rest of Europe. Um, when you're in Rotterdam, you can go on a tour through the Haber and uh, see all the ships and the containers. That was it. <laughs> So I will talk about the theme parks in uh, the Netherlands because you can also have uh, some fun while actually uh, probably studying here in Dutch. Um, we'll talk about Balibi, Slahage, Hennendurn, and the Efteling. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about Balibi. 
uh, Wannabe is in Biddinghuizen in Flevoland. Um, it's a fun uh, theme park, mostly with friends and family. Uh, it has about uh, 35 rides. Um, Wannabe is known for the highest roller coaster, the Goliath. Um, well, like the tickets are about 35 euros. Um, it can be different in different seasons. Um, yeah, you can also stay overnight. It's about uh, 59 euros. There's also a fun theme around October uh, called Fright Night. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I went to go with friends because it's uh, like a horror theme. And yeah, it's just frightening and it's awesome. Um, you can go with the train or the car. The with the car is about 40 minutes and with the train about one and a half hour from Solar Station. Then we have Slahaga. Uh, Slahaga is in Okaiso, just Slahaga. Uh, it has about more than 30 attractions. Uh, tickets are about uh, 70 euro and 90 cents. Um, it's also fun for family and friends. You can, uh, the, the park has uh, multiple themes um, and is spread uh, just across uh, a whole place. Um, two themes are uh, connected through a main street. Uh, in the main street, you have a lot of restaurants and little shops to look uh, at, as well as a small casino just for fun. Um, about, again, a 30 minutes ride with the car and an hour with the train. Then we have Hellendorn. Hellendorn is in Okaiso, so it's pretty close, uh, as well as 40 minutes uh, of car ride and an hour with the train. There are about 30 attractions again, and the tickets are 70 euros and 50 cents. Uh, it's also fun uh, with friends and family to go. And then we have the Efteling. The Efteling is the biggest park of Benelux, so Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands. Uh, Efteling is the most visited park in Europe. It is in Katzheuvel in um, the whole theme of the Efteling is just like a fairy tale. It's very beautiful, a lot of nice stories. Uh, again, fun from family and friends. Uh, the, the tickets are multiple um, multiple prices, but it's between the 40 euros. Again, you can go with the train about two hours and 55 minutes from uh, Swan Station and about uh, one hour and 45 minutes with the car. And that was the end of the presentation. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a big view now, a better view now about Zwolle and uh, the Netherlands. Uh, so if you get to study here, then you know there's a lot to do. Uh, in Zwolle and uh, the rest of the Netherlands. Okay. Thank you, uh, Inge. It was a very nice presentation and thank you for your students as well. Uh, last weekend I was at the theme park Hellendorn and it's really nice to go there. And I'm sure that your student made a lot of students of Finland very uh, enthusiastic. Um, I so, hope let's, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. So let's start uh, with some information about uh, Deltium College. I will uh, share my screen now. So uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Ellen Geerts. I work at International Office at uh, Deltium College. And we are very honored to tell you something more about uh, internships uh, at Deltium College or other cooperation uh, in the future. Uh, Deltium College is situated in the eastern part of Holland. Uh, it's about one hour with a train, so very easily uh, to come. 
And uh, we have uh, got in total uh, 18,000 uh, students, uh, approximately 1,400 staff members and 250 courses. So that's a lot. And uh, I would like to give you some examples, uh, fields of education. Uh, first, we have the hotel catering and travel uh, uh, education. And uh, we have, for example, the baking, uh, air traffic services, uh, tourism, like the class of Ingham, and a body beauty and care. And if we talk about care and welfare, uh, we have pharmacist uh, education, doctor and dental assistance, and nursing and care. And uh, for economics and commerce uh, students, we have uh, international business uh, studies and retail. And for sports education and safety, we offer uh, teaching assistance, uh, social work, public safety and defense. And some examples uh, concerning construction and infrastructure, uh, architecture, and also furniture and carpentry, and also paint and application uh, techniques. And if we talk about uh, engineering and technology, uh, we have got electrical engineering and uh, fitting techniques, and also uh, metal working, for example, and uh, design media and ICT. Uh, we offer uh, graphic arts, interior design, fashion, artist, ICT, and audiovisual production. And the last one, traffic and transport. We talk about logistics. And we're also uh, ANSI works, and our ANSI also cooperates with our um, staff members in uh, Deltion College. And uh, aviation um, and maritime and motorsport uh, studies. So we have got a lot of uh, different kind of education fields. And also bilingual studies, for example, for hotel, uh, aviation, international business study, uh, tourism, uh, marketing and communication and optics. Uh, our international office uh, maintains close contact with uh, the International Office of Fanta Faria. And we are very honored and grateful for this long-term relationship. And uh, before the start of COVID, uh, ICT and safety students came to our school for an internship. And maybe you would like to study as well in Zwolle or want to come to Zwolle for a work placement. And um, we are very much looking forward uh, to welcome you here. And uh, the best way to do is uh, to contact your international office. So um, uh, contact uh, Anu Lande and she will contact uh, us. So me and my uh, colleagues, and we will do our utmost to arrange something for you. And uh, I would like to give you a tip as well. Uh, brief prepared and start approximately one year in advance to arrange everything uh, smoothly. And uh, during uh, COVID, we, um, it wasn't, wasn't possible to um, uh, travel by uh, you know, train or by plane. Uh, so we organized a lot of online cooperation. Uh, for example, tourism, Frank, uh, a colleague of uh, Inge, uh, uh, cooperated with the class uh, together with Finland and as well for ICT and ethical hacking. Uh, we organized an uh, online cooperation. Uh, so instead of the regular lessons with your own students, we combine it with international students. So in this case, uh, it was uh, students from Delsium College together with students of Van Varia Fanta. And uh, joining online cooperation will uh, for sure realize new international friends. So if you would like to uh, arrange such a kind uh, online cooperation, please contact international office and we will uh, arrange it for you. And I've got a nice uh, quote for you. Uh, if you would like to end this presentation uh, with an interesting quote, move out your comfort zone. Uh, you can only grow when you are willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you are trying something new. 
And are you interested in an internship or study at Deltion? Uh, we are looking forward to welcome you. Thank you.